<laughs> okay, well, my little demonstration using a post rammer. The device I'm going to use is one of these. And this is basically a big lump of steel, it's a tube with two handles on by either side, which you obviously grab hold of. On one end, there's a hole, it's a post where it slides over top of the post, and the other end is blank where it's actually got a weight in it. That's a thick bit of steel on the end there, it's all welded in and what have you. That's part of its construction. And basically, it slides over the top of the this chestnut post. As you can see over here, we've got a few of them uh, in line, which we're now going to stick in. And uh, yeah, they come in two forms generally. Obviously, you can get them different lengths. There's these ones, which are the round post. As you see, they are completely round. And then you have split posts, which a lot of the farmers use. Uh, I can show you one over here because we've got one on the boundary fence. As you can see here, this is a split post. So, um, ideal for this purpose, uh, or little farms and what have you. This is a small holding. Uh, as you see over here, um, they're cheaper. It's effectively, you're getting two for the price of one, um, and also uh, they're easier to put in the ground because they're skinnier. But for the purpose, for what I've, over here, we wanted to have heavier posts and we got drain posts in front of it. They look better and there's more wood in the ground so it should last longer. Um, so that was the reason for that. So thank you for ado, I'm gonna start ramming some in. Uh, run over here before it falls over. So there we go. That's, the, that's our post rammer. And now I'm gonna hang on. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna move this camera over here. Because the sun causing a shadow. Alright, so there we go. Dee -dee 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 -dee. All right. One post, one post rammer. It's got sliders over the top. And me being shorty, it's not that easy. So bring it down to me. Like so. so there we go. Now this is the hard bit. This is when you you realise that you, your carpal tunnel isn't so great. If I had a good wife, she'd do this for me. Once you've got to start, that'll hold itself. And really, we'll get it in to about 80, 18 inches to two foot into the ground. So it's going to take a few ramens. So there we go. You can see how it's going in. Just have a little bit of visual to see if it's upright, which it pretty much is. Because you can hit something hard and it pushes it to one direction. So I hope this lens is okay because um, there's a very wide angle lens on my Panasonic camera and it does create a bit of curvature. A bit like a GoPro, but it's not. Do I think I need to work out today? Well, when I set the height to the post, Obviously you can do it with a tape measure if you so wish. That's one one I found earlier. Alright, at the moment it's about one one half metres sticking out of the ground. It's about how much steel on top of there, so it's about one half metres sticking out of the ground. But what I generally do is I think how high do I want it? So what I do is I'll ram that down to so about that height. And that'll be a similar sort of height to the other one. And then what I'll do is afterwards I'll then eye up the tops. I've got a choice, I have either the top and ram them to suit or I can just cut off the posts in line. Can you see there? It's, get, it's getting there. My oh, dogs are over there, they want to come and say hi. Yep. Wally! See that? Getting closer. Oh, nearly there. Oh, back to it. Dance with it, make you feel a little bit better about it, you know. 
that is pretty much there, I think. That's how I want. So if I whip this off, <coughs> I'm pretty much going up to that, that badge on my jacket, and I'm going to do that for each post. You need to make sure you get enough height on it. It's no good just doing this. You'll be there a very long while, hell of a long while. So you need to make sure you're using your full thrust. Use all your length. Okay, just a quick tip. You can see how you've got your full length for your post rammer, or monkey, or cyberman. <laughs> um, this quick tip basically is a little bit of a safety advice. Now, when you lift this up and down, you've got to make sure that you don't lift it past the end of the post. Because I made a horrible mistake once and knocked myself out. What happened is I lifted it so high off the post, I lifted it off the post. When I tried to bring it back down, I missed the post, and the end of the rammer hit the end of the post, and then the rammer went bump on top of my head here. And I was like this. So that's just a bit of a safety advice. Just be very careful and also keep fingers away from the bottom. And if you've got anyone holding the post for you while you do it, which I don't recommend, um, make sure they're not holding the post too high up. And warn them. Yeah, you can even put a mark on it. So you can say, don't ever put your fingers above this mark on the post. So you can put a chalk line on there or, on, or anything, even a nail if you like, inside the post, just so they know not to go above that. Otherwise, potentially you could smash their hands, which would not be painful. It could potentially be in uh, well, it'll be handless. Yeah, handless, helpless, handless. Yeah, you won't be very good with it. So don't do that. Ding, tip. You see, each one that comes down that five to ten mil, make sure you get still reasonably level. Plum. Level that way, plum. Nearly there. I'm flaking it. If I had a good wife, she'd do this for me. Now the other go. <laughs> okay. She says she's working, but she calls that work. Up nice and high, but not right off the end. That's it. You can do it. Get your rhythm going. You got your kids, get on the bongos. Boom, 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 <laughs> boom, boom. If you use a piano, if you play the piano, quick metronome. How far has it got to go? Right, pretty much, you're not far off, you know. Oh, another, another 12 inches. 12 inches? Another, another 12 inches. This is bouncing instead of actually thrusting past. That's it, that's how you, when you hear that tone, that tone, you know you actually make an impact. If you hear this, uh, that's my glamorous assistant. <laughs> Not like Debbie McGee, because I married this one first. <laughs> Paul Daniels, he's dead now, isn't he? Hey, I think old Debbie McGee inherited quite a bit of money. So, all right, so the, the point is, you need, a, it's like you're hitting past it. If you think of like um, Karate Kid and uh, I mean, Miyagi is only, you know, hitting the nails in the, in the fence, but you're hitting past that nail. You're not hitting the nail. You're not thinking about hitting the post. You've got to think that you're, you're not waxing on and waxing off those. That would have no effect whatsoever in this job. So you, you've got to think that you're actually making impact past the post not just onto the post. It's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to think, I'm driving it past. That post is not there. I'm just right past it. So you bring it up and down past. So, so I'm getting that, yeah. So the tone's becoming heavier now. So the tone's becoming more, more dull because it's getting to a point where it doesn't really want to go any further. And it's at its depth anyway. So that'll do. Hey, Caroline. Okay, in a fairly short period of time, we managed to get one, two, Three posts in. 
So if we look along them, hopefully they should be in line with each other. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is not a selfie stick, it's actually more tripod. <laughs> so we have got, yeah, pretty, not, not bad at all. The M1 could probably do have been pushed over a little bit at the far end there. But on the whole, it's not too bad. So this last one just needs to be pushed that way a little bit. That's not going to move, it's going to have to do. So there we go. That's how you use a post rammer. Now, we call it, oh, well, I call it a monkey, because it's got like two monkey ears. This one here is made by Spear and Jackson, but there's lots of other makes out there. I think Roughneck do one, um, but it is essentially a tube with a heavy plate in one end and a pair of handles. So it wouldn't take a lot to make one, to be fair. Um, but if you've got a teleporter or a post ram on a tractor, obviously you don't need to have one like this. So yeah, anyway, give it a thumbs up, will you? And, uh, comment below and subscribe don't forget to press the little hourglass thingy little bell thing so uh, then you get notifications <laughs> anyway thank you for watching